All right, so I do want to take you through uh, some Asterisk basics, and uh, I guess uh, we'll go through a bit of Linux basics. So at one point or another, I mentioned a few commands, uh, and let's go through a couple of them. So we've got all this uh, crap here from uh, every our entire installation of Asterisk. Uh, in PuTTY, you can just right-click the top toolbar, get click uh, clear scroll back, and uh, to clear this stuff on the screen you can type the word clear and uh, that's Linux's way of clearing um, the terminal for you so now that we've got a fresh clean look uh, to see our current directory we could type pwd we're in uh, where the installation folder is we essentially don't even need it anymore we could delete it if we want I'm pretty sure of that but um, this is not where we're going to be working. We're going to be working in another folder of uh, Cetera Asterisk. And uh, this is the folder where we do all of our configuration. If we do an ls, conf, conf, I believe stands for configuration. And uh, these are all where all the configuration files are. And where we mainly will program Asterisk. And we're going to be focusing on two configuration files, which is SIP dot com and um, extensions dot com so uh, I can type the word nano that's a text editor in Linux it's kind of like notepad I could type zip dot com and you can see the file right here so let's edit that I oh, see uh, remember it's a sample file so there's a bunch of crap in here you can do page up and down left up down left right don't have to worry about it um, you can see the different controls here on the bottom. You can hit Control X in order to exit this, uh, and Control O is for saving. You, like you can hit Control O, it says write to file name. You hit Enter, and it's officially saved. You can Control X to get out. And the same thing with extensions.conf configuration. We can see it here. We can hit Control X to exit out. So actually what I'm going to do with these two files is I'm going to remove them. Extensions.com Oh, I mean remove extensions.com They are officially deleted and now I can uh, recreate them. Sip.com I could just save this blank configuration file. Um, extensions.com um, I mean this can land right here save that now I have two extension uh, the zip con file and the extension configuration file they're both empty now so fully ready for us to edit and uh, this is where we can have a lot of fun um, for the basic setup uh, these videos will relatively be short because I'll be going through little basic labs you'll find that asterisk is very easy in a lot of ways it's not well, it gets complicated, but it, it at least these first few labs will not be complicated. So, the sip.com file, that's where we define our clients who is connecting to our voice over IP server. And this can be um, a soft phone on your wireless device. Uh, you, let's say your iPod or your mobile phone. Um, you can actually get uh, a program called XLite, which is a soft phone, and have it connect to your voice over IP server. Um, and you configure what the client's username and password is right here in the set.conf file. So we'll get into that in the next lab when we do a nice little hello world. And um, extensions.conf, the extensions configuration file. That's where we um, remember asterisk is a voice over IP server basically in the end it's a PBX it's a a call processor so what it's going to do is when a user or client dials a number this in here the extensions.com file this configuration file this is where you determine what will happen when they dial a number you know if they dial let's say 911 or whatever what happens what is it supposed to do that type of thing you can have it dial one 
and maybe read you back a hello world or give you uh, some type of prompt of some type you can do a lot of things with this it's very powerful so let me end this video here it's basically the two files we'll be working with and we'll do hello world in the next video